Inside a local Walmart after gunfire erupts, police say one woman is dead and a man now charged with capital murder. Well, the scene unfolded this morning at the Starkville Walmart on MS-12. One witness is sharing his story as he watched the terrifying scene unfold. In disbelief, Ken Merle catches dramatic cell phone video of a police takedown moments after gunfire rings out inside the Starkville Walmart. Everybody ran for cover, to be honest with you. Merle was inside using the bank when he heard shots fire around 9.30 Saturday morning. It sounded like a gunshot, but you're thinking, you know, early in the morning inside a Walmart. Surely it's not. Seconds later, Merle says people started screaming and running. One of the ladies from the eyeglass center was crying and saying she's been shot. She's been shot. Merle says the eye center was just opening for the day. Tragically, sources say Dr. Shauna Witt died shortly after getting to the hospital. Starkville police charging 41-year-old William Thomas Tommy Chisholm with capital murder. You could see the gun. He exited through the back door. We went out the sliding doors, and as he was going to his car, the police were arriving, and we yelled a description and where he was going to. Starkville police were on scene within minutes and say the man was armed and taken into custody. We believe this incident to be isolated and domestic in nature. Police say, according to close friends, Chisholm and the victim were in an on and off dating relationship. During the takedown, you can hear the suspect yelling at police to kill him. Kill me! Take me down! Kill me! Kill me! Please! As the shock begins to set in, Merle says it's hard to put into words. The, the shock of what had happened had just gotten some people rattled and some were running, and um, it was just wild. Police say Chisholm is from Kosciuszko. In 2012, reports show that Chisholm was involved in a standoff with sheriff's deputies in Madison County. Now, Chisholm is out on a felony bond for an incident related to the victim. We'll have more on this story coming up tonight at 10.